hey you guys welcome back to the beauty and serving christ i am really excited for today's video i'm gonna try my best not to talk really fast one because i'm just naturally a fast talker but two i'm coming from work so my adrenaline is still like a little high matter of fact let's just pray right now to just flow with the spirit father god i just pray right now i just thank you oh lord i glorify your mighty and marvelous name oh jesus i pray that for all those who are watching oh father god that they just be encouraged oh lord lord i pray that you just speak through me oh father god let me listen to the holy spirit let me encourage my brothers and sisters in christ with your word oh father god that we stand firm on your word oh lord just let us just be covered by your awesome mighty will oh father god and your purposes for our life and becoming at a place to surrender preparing our hearts at a place to surrender to you oh father god and let i just pray in jesus name amen okay so um the title is exactly what it's meant to be <laughs> um what i have realized and a lot of the times when i'm talking to you guys it's either something that i have been through it's something that i'm currently going through and that i'm encouraging myself with or something that the spirit like the holy spirit just encouraged me to speak about that god dropped in my spirit so i was thinking about all these transitions that i'm going through as you guys can see with i'm all over the place right <laughs> and i was thinking about um, the other channel that I had created and I was thinking about um, obedience and I was really like so big on obedience and I was just like you know when God tells you to do something you just have to do it that's it like go and get it done no questions asked just go and do what you gotta do and so what I recognized is that I was operating not in a place of surrendering because I trust God but surrendering just because I knew I had to and I think a lot of the times, surrender, there's so many different stages of surrendering to God because us as humans, naturally, we don't want to surrender, right? We're so prideful. We're so prideful. Men forget about it. Their pride, like up to here. Women too, but I'm just saying, you know, men especially, but we're so prideful and we don't want to feel like we're bowing down to anything because it looks like a form of weakness. We don't want to seem weak to anybody. So when it comes to god we know we know okay god i need to surrender to you i need to obey your will i need to obey your commands in order for you to move in my life and just because i love you and i want to you know be a servant of christ but i think sometimes when we're getting ready to surrender we're just like okay fine god like i'll give it up i really don't want to like i really want this instead but i'm recognizing that no matter how hard i'm trying it's not working so fine you like take over i'll i'll surrender and i'll leave it but we're kind of doing it in this begrudging way like resentful way of i don't really want to do this and i was thinking about that when it came to what god told me about sharing godly videos and so you know i love makeup hence why i had this channel and um i also love encouraging people with god's word but at the same time it was always such an insecurity of mine and i used to pray pray all the time god give me your wisdom like give me the words you know speak through me oh lord you know make me your hands and feet make me a, a laborer in the harvest that was something that i would pray all the time and until god was like okay I'm going to make you a laborer in the harvest. You got it. And so, but in order for me to do that, you're going to have to remove all the idols in your life. You're going to have to remove all the distractions in your life. You're going to have to remove the things that you placed before me. And then it's like, wait, hold on. Wait a second. <laughs> That's not what I signed up for. Let's just go back to the way things were. And then we try to create a system, right? A way that kind of works for both of us. Like, okay, God, I kind of want this. And I want you to perform your will in my life. But what I'll do is I'll give you this percentage and I'll leave the other percentage for what I want to do. And we can kind of work together to mesh and work out my, my life, my purpose. Okay. Does that work, Jesus? Does that, that's fine by you? Okay, good. And God's like, no, I want it all because God knows what to do with it. God knows the plans and purposes that he has for our lives. And so he knows the way that he's going to orchestrate everything. So God says to us, no, you want this? You need to remove all all these things let me refine you with my holy spirit so that way i can prepare you for the steps that i'm placing you next right and when i was thinking about my channels and i was thinking about okay i'll create a second channel you know god and i'll i'll do everything over there and i'll still keep my main channel my beauty channel so i'm giving god a percentage and i'm still keeping a percentage for myself and 
that's where it comes into the play of surrendering is not what we think it is it's not something we just do because it's like okay we have to do it in order for us to get the things we want or we have to do it because we say we love jesus so this is what we have to do we, we have to just surrender and we're like upset about it surrendering means that you're not doing it out of just like oh this is what i need to do but it means that you're doing it because you actually trust god and what i recognized was there because that fear was there I was still trying to hold on to what I felt like, okay, this is a safe space for me, God, and this is what I'm willing to give. When God's saying, do you trust me though? Do you trust me? Do you trust that my plans for you are good? Do you trust that I hold everything in the palm of my hand, that the earth and heaven are all mine? Do you really trust me? Because if you did, you wouldn't be trying to give me a percentage right now. You wouldn't surrender and you wouldn't be fearful. You wouldn't be angry or upset or afraid because you trust me. It's just like knowing that God has moved in your life and on your behalf so many times. If he has sent you somewhere, why would he leave you hanging? Why would he then choose this time to say, no, I'm not going to be here with you? If God has already promised us that he is going to be with us, if he has promised us that he is the author and the finisher, that he will complete the work that he has started, why do we get scared? Why do we get fearful? Why do we start to question things? Why do we start to, you know, still try to take control and say, God, give me clarity when God has given us the clarity. I was watching this video and it was saying, you're talking to God and you're saying to God, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. And God was saying, and the girl said in the video, God's saying to you, you're confused because you're still trying to have control. And it's so true. You know, God is not a God of confusion. He is very clear in what he wants us to do. It's really up to us to then make that decision to say, I trust you, not in a percentage, but a hundred percent. And I give you everything and i trust that you are going to do what you said that you're going to do and you're going to plan everything out the way that you said you're going to plan it out and so i just want to encourage you guys don't surrender and give everything to god just because you're like okay fine this is what i just have to do like like your parents telling you to wash the dishes or something like i just got to do it because i got to obey them so there's no reason i can just dispute it do it because you really love and trust god god looks at our heart when we surrender, when we obey, he looks at our heart. He knows, okay, this is the heart posture of my child. So I know that I can now proceed and give them the things that they need to move into the next area that I have them. And that's what I want to encourage you with 1 Peter 5 and also Luke 9, 23. I got my Bible here, y'all. I'm like getting so prepared. Like, check me out. Okay, I just want to say that. 1 Peter 5, 6 says, Therefore, humble yourselves meaning to surrender humble yourselves bow down don't worry about looking weak it's okay we're supposed to be weak that's why god makes that's what makes us strong god makes us strong it's okay to have weaknesses like that's what we're, that's what god is there for so don't worry about looking weak don't worry about you know all those other things but humble yourselves and it's okay like let it go babe let it go i said this to me too i was telling that in my mind Anyways, <laughs> therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. Oh, mm. I'm sorry. I just felt the Holy Spirit. Okay. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. You're humbling yourselves under the hand of God. You trust God so much. His hand is so mighty. He is so... Uh, it's just... I can't even... Let me finish this before I start to just, we're going to be here forever if I keep going. Under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. You know what I, you, you, you see what I'm saying? God cares for you. God loves you. He is not a God that wants you to fail, who wants you to fall flat on your face and just like leave you alone and figure it out no he cares for you and he knows what he's doing humble yourself surrender yourselves to him under his mighty hand meaning that he is in control of everything he is so mighty that you don't have to worry about all the little details and all the little insecurities that come up so that he may exalt you that he may give you the things that you need in due time not in our time 
in due time we surrender and it seems like we're getting rid of everything we're get, getting rid of all the stuff that we find fun and all the things that we're like well god you know i love this so much i, I wanted this relationship or i wanted this channel or i wanted this and i wanted that and it's like no in due time you will be exalted as long as you humble yourself and surrender to me and trust me fix your heart on me seek me with all your heart and in Luke 9, 23, our favorite, you know, scripture to quote sometimes. Then he said to them, this is Jesus. If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. So I encourage you guys to remember that surrendering isn't just a, a one-time thing. It's daily. We are daily surrendering to God. We're daily surrendering our anger or frustrations or sadness or depression or anxieties. It's a daily thing that we surrender to God so that we know where our help comes from. So don't think of surrendering as something that is like, oh, this is the worst thing ever. It's a beautiful thing. Surrendering is so beautiful because it means that God God is going to move in your life the way that he plans to it's something way better than you could have ever thought to begin with so i just want to encourage you guys with that and i really hope that you walk away with this looking at surrendering in a new way and it's a beautiful process and to trust god trust god and go throughout the rest of your day trusting god okay I love you guys and if you guys see like older videos of my hair looking different is because I'm taking all those videos from my other channel and I'm putting it on here because this is now my main channel this is what I'm operating in because I'm surrendering it all to God and I'm just trusting him with that so pay no mind to that but just be encouraged whatever you see <laughs> all right love you guys and have a blessed day bye